Welcome to the App Trainer's Microsoft Office Excel 2010 basic training videos. So look at what we'll be covering in the basic uh, level. We've got nine units, starting off from the very basic fundamentals of the program. Uh, so absolutely no prior experience is necessary to be able to follow along in these videos. So today's lesson will focus on getting started with Excel. More specifically, we'll be getting into topic B, getting help, knowing where to find help when you need it. Enjoy! Okay, welcome to another Excel 2010 basic training video. Uh, this is the uh, first unit in the basic level. So we're still starting with the fundamentals here. In this unit, we're going to look at uh, the help system in Excel 2010. And there's primarily two ways that help can be accessed in Excel 2010. And you're going to find this whether you're using Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Access, any of the uh, Office programs. It's always going to be in the same place. And that's up here in the top right-hand corner uh, of your interface. It's the blue question mark. You can either click on that button or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which again is the same uh, regardless of whatever Office program you're using in Microsoft Office 2010. That's the F1 key on your keyboard, usually next to the Escape uh, button on your keyboard. So either method will bring up this home menu, uh, the help home menu, and you're going to see um, your navigation controls across the top. Looks a little bit similar to maybe an internet browser. You've got your back, your forward, stop, refresh, home, print, and a couple other options up here. You've also got your, your search box, and this will allow you to search by topic. So say, for example, you know maybe you're uh, you want some more information on charts, how to, how to set up uh, your Excel charts, maybe how to uh, get them working, what charts are available, so on and so forth. You can type in this search box, charts, and hit enter. It's going to connect to the online Office database, which is another great benefit of uh, Office 2010. It makes sure, uh, makes sure that all the information is up to date and uh, it's all accurate. Uh, so you'll see it brought up a couple results that were uh, in regards to charts, I've got available chart types up here at the beginning. How to create a chart from start to finish, that looks kind of nice. So you can click on any of these blue links, that's going to open up to more options and more information. So here I've got a nice step by step walkthrough on how to create some charts. Uh, really helpful, very handy, um, very visual. So it'll show you lots of examples. I know some of these even have some walkthrough videos and uh, maybe some audio files that go with it. So, uh, pretty helpful resource. Um, I can hit my home button here back at the top to uh, take me back to the original menu. Uh, another way you can browse the um, help uh, system is down here where it says browse support by, um, by keyword. So there's a lot of the common topics here that you can search through. Uh, I can click on the see all button in the bottom right. This will open up and show me all the different types of topics I can browse through for uh, more information or for assistance. So uh, I can look through here. There's things on uh, macros, tables, uh, worksheets, importing and exporting data, printing, so lots of nice uh, resources here. We'll be getting into all these topics as well uh, in uh, my training videos, but uh, something that you might uh, just you know go to for a quick reference guide. Um, and once you're done, you can either print them with a uh, button up here on your navigational controls, or you can simply close the menu in the top right. So we're going to leave it at that with this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and check out my YouTube uh, subscription page for more videos on Excel and some other uh, applications as well. Thanks for watching.